this presentation, you will learn about two important values, the x-intercept and the y-intercept. And you will learn how to graph a line using the intercepts. The x-intercept is the x-value where the line crosses the x-axis. Similarly, the y-intercept is the y-value where the line crosses the y-axis. Okay. Can you tell me what is the x-intercept and the y-intercept? Well, we can see the x-intercept is 2, the x-value. The y-intercept is 3. Now let's try an example from Alex. The x-intercept. Go to the x-axis and the x-value is 3. The x-intercept is 3. The y-intercept is 4. And a final example. Well, the x-intercept is easy. It's minus 3. What about the y-intercept? This vertical line does not cross the y-axis, so there's no y-intercept. In the next question, we have to find the x-intercept and the y-intercept from the equation. Now, think about the line. At the x-intercept, y is always equal to 0. So to find the x-intercept, we choose y equal to 0 and solve for x. So put y equal to 0 and we're left with minus 8x is equal to 14. Divide by minus 8 and x is equal to 14 over minus 8. And in simplest form, this is 7 over minus 4. And Alex likes you to write your answers in fractional form for these topics. Now we found the x-intercept. Let's find the y-intercept. Well, at the y-intercept, x is always equal to 0. So we put x equal to 0 and solve for y. Minus 8 times 0 is 0, so you're left with 9y is equal to 14, and y is equal to 14 over 9. In the next example, we again have to find the x and the y intercept, and then we have to use them to draw a line. Find the x-intercept by putting y equal to 0. x is equal to 4. So the point is 4, 0. To find the y-intercept, let's put x equal to 0. And you get 8y is equal to 12. y is equal to 3 over 2. And our point is 0, x equals 0 y is 3 over 2. Now I have two points. If I have two points, I can draw the line. I plot the two points and draw them, join them with a straight line. Thank you.